June 6, 2007. It seems like yesterday, and real to this day. Seventeen years ago, we witnessed our Anaheim Ducks win the Stanley Cup, becoming the first California hockey team to win ice hockey's ultimate prize, achieving hockey immortality. For me personally, seeing the Anaheim Ducks win 6-2 in dominating fashion, as the buzzer sound, as the clock ticks to zero, with the roar of approval and joy of 17,372 Ducks fans in attendance at the Honda Panda. What was once a dream truly became a reality. Let me tell you this, personally, what that night meant for me. Two months prior, I was humbled and privileged to see the Anaheim Ducks live, attending my first game with people who I call friends and acquaintances. Getting the players' autographs was special to me. Making friends and acquaintances who I hold dear to my heart truly was a life-changing event, but also this team I grew up with, it stayed with me and provided a positive escape for someone like me, enduring some difficulties growing up in Eastern Canada. But the Stanley Cup victory I witness, along with all Ducks fans, Prove to me that hockey truly can succeed in a non-traditional hockey market. The Anaheim Ducks character in never giving up, perseverance, and proving the critics, the doubters, and the hockey purists wrong was motivational and inspiring to me. As someone who has grown up in Canada, dealing with hockey purists and fans of the original six, to see this team win in their 14th year was not just something special that I remember, but was something that helped me move forward in my life. I became more of not just a Ducks fan, but someone motivated to record each moment of Ducks history. You can say it changed me, and it did. As I speak these words, I've devoted my life to ensure that Mighty Ducks and Harm Ducks history is never forgotten and always be a link for each of us. This team united each and every one of us, and I saw with my own eyes, people of different backgrounds and color, faiths and class coming together. This team that night, the Ducks winning it all, gave me strength. It gave me something to focus on. It motivated me, as I say. And to this day, that moment, the day of great victory, as I coined it in the Anaheim Ducks message board, is something that I will never forget. As each year passes by, each time the Ducks fall short in not making the Stanley Cup playoffs or reaching the goal 
of the Stanley Cup Final. I personally look back and smile, knowing that this moment lives in all of us, not just myself, but for all Ducks fans. I know that within a few years going forward, how the future holds for our team. I look back at the Ducks winning the Stanley Cup that day as a day that changed not just our team, but for me, myself personally. Not a day goes by when I think about that night the day of great victory, as I called it, on the Anaheim Ducks message board all those years ago. A lot of historic firsts. You have a team that was a mixture of youth, aggression, and experience. A mixture of Players ready, willing, and able to play for each other, play for the city, and represent the Anaheim Ducks and contribute to the Ducks' cause. Becoming the first California-based team to win the Stanley Cup. It was life-altering for all of us, for someone like me, growing up in Canada, this team was basically the team I know as I grew up with. I am one of the Mighty Ducks Anaheim Ducks original OG fans. And when the Ducks hoisted the Stanley Cup 17 years ago, all the negativity, all the name calling that I endure all those years ago was washed away by this Stanley Cup victory. It laid a foundation, it emboldened our Anaheim Ducks and cemented as I've seen ice hockey to be part of Orange County, California and SoCal culture in the local level. It inspired local hockey players to pursue the dream of playing in the NHL and to play ice hockey. But for me personally, this team, seeing experiencing and witnessing something so historic and knowing that the locals love the sport of hockey as I do made me feel a sense of connected kinship for someone like me growing up in Canada where hockey is treated like more than just a sport. It great, gives me great joy to see this sport brings joy and happiness and a sense of community in the city of Anaheim and in Orange County, California. The Anaheim Ducks, the 2007 Stanley Cup champions, were the gold standard. That right mix cemented the legacies and the marks of players like Ducks legend Tamo Solani, the Nina Minor brothers, Ducks legendary goalie J.S. Jaguar, and many more. We still remember their, their names several decades and months to this day. It makes me smile. To know that some players 
have honed their skills right here in the city of Halifax. I cannot help but still feel that kinship, that connection. As each Stanley Cup playoff passes by, sometimes when our team falls short in winning the ultimate prize, it makes that special day. The Ducks winning the Stanley Cup on June 6, 2007. Not only special to the OGs like myself and others worldwide. who Love the Ducks and enjoy seeing this team win, lose or draw, or go through the shootout and overtime battles. It makes it special because It's a lifetime moment that changes us all. You can say we're the first generation Ducks fans. I guess I am too, but most of all of you out in the city of Anaheim, in Orange County, California, and all over the world. This team will forever be part of us. It will be part of me because this was the gold standard that I see. The players from the forwards to the fence core to the goaltending all contributed. Long into the future, we will always cherish this team no matter what. For all Ducks fans, whether it be the first generation or those till now. Let's never forget that this team, this edition of our Anaheim Ducks, set the benchmark for success, for honor, pride, glory, and advancing the Ducks cause.